Hello, hello everybody and welcome to the life of a board gamer. My name is Daniel and today we are going to take a closer look at the game called Who Goes There. Basically you are freezing your ass on the North Pole trying to survive and not get infected until the chopper picks you up. So let's get down to the table and let me show you what's in this huge box. Okay, so let's see what this huge box has to offer. First of all, you have as always as it is it's a rule book and it's a pretty hefty rule book it has like 35 pages of rules and some of the rules are a bit complicated but overall the game is easy to learn and then we have some promo for a game that i'm really not sure what it is i'll have to check that one out i still didn't check it and then we have these two boards so you have the inside and the outside and these will be like this so you have the boiler room and the camp door so there's outside of the camp and inside basically you don't want to be outside when the night comes or else you might get infected stuff like that and then we have cards all around the place but first of all we are going to check this player board so each player gets one of these each character because all the characters are very different they are doing a bunch of different stuff so let's go through one of these so this over here explains what your actions are and your stamina when you are exhausted so you have these uh, stamina cubes that will go around here and there are places here for different stuff that you can unlock throughout the game and use these parts for different variation bonuses throughout the game and over here you will hold the items that you manage to craft which is the best part of the game if you ask me but i'll go into details when we come to that part and then you have some board to keep your cards on and then you have a bunch of dice that are going all over the place so first of all you have these dice that you will throw and see how successful you are in different things and these are really nice translucent blue dice with some fire tokens uh, fire symbols on them and they look really really nice then you have these dice which is for the last round when the helicopter comes and each of the player will get one of these dice to help you out throughout the game you have to unlock them you don't get them right off the bat so yeah then we have this uh, sheet that explains you all the items and how you can craft different items which we'll get to in a minute as i already told you then you get a bunch of tokens uh, these are the tokens that cover these boards as i already mentioned previously so you don't have all of these spaces available to you you have to unlock them so this one is here so when you unlock it you then remove it and you can use this and this for different stuff so yeah let's go and see what we have here okay so yeah you got the doggy cardboard thingy and then the then you have these standees but you really don't need them because you have miniatures which we will get to and as i already told you you get a bunch of wound tokens and different abilities for your characters that you can use when you unlock them and you get these cubes these are your stamina and as you can see some of them started to crackle but they look super cool when they are crackled like this now i hope that they will not completely like dissolve or anything but basically you are using these for your exhausted stamina for abilities stuff like that so let's continue now you have these plastic components that you use throughout the game for denoting different things and you get some that are here and you get a bunch of cards for the different camps i will not go through all of these cards because it would be you will probably get super bored about it but each of the player will get his own deck of cards dr cooper has the he's the physician so you get these cards so you get snacks stuff like that and each deck is tailored to the to the character itself to work differently and then you have the workshop deck which you will collect these all these random items and then try to craft these cooler items that will help you survive and basically maybe kill the beast that is infecting everyone 
and these all should be staying in their place i'm not sure why they're not and we have storage cards where you can also find lots and lots of different things like bullets food medical supplies canned food stuff like that that you collect throughout the game then if you are going outside you have these cards and then there's these events and stuff like that there's the events and the po1 cards so yeah the events happen throughout the game be uh, the monster the thing attacks the door is damaged the boiler room is overheating so you are potentially going to die maybe who knows probably not probably yes then we have this thing over here which is flying all over the place but this is the main i mean not the main thing but this is the main thing about the game that i really like and it's th these items so these items you are basically collecting throughout the game you are collecting these item items and keeping them on your board and once when you get a different set of items for example you have a club and you can upgrade it to a torch that it can now give you some defense and attack abilities because the club can only give you attack and the torch gives you also defense and then the torch can further be improved to lantern or you can use club to make barricades knife can be upgraded to x x can be upgraded to i mean to hatchet then hatchet can be upgraded to like big x and that is something that i really like in this game it works really nice and it's really super fun and super awesome when you manage to to collect the different uh, cards that make you uh, able to make these items so now you have a hatchet stuff like that and then we have some more green cubes these are used for those uh, if you are stamina in action stuff like that and we have these clickers and these clickers are what's awesome about this game so these clickers are always kept in a neutral position and as you can see there's one like pink or purple and red side and there's a green side so when you are bunking beds with another player during night and if you are infected player you can decide if you want you you don't have to you can infect other player but if you are not infected you always have to like switch it like so and show to the other player that you are not infected your green side now if the other player shows you this one you are now also infected and now you can try and infect others or maybe not it really depends up to you if you want to do it super fun super awesome stuff and we have this dog basically it's a round track marker that tracks which in which round you are currently and as with all the my miniatures games i have to paint this one and you get four miniatures for each player and these miniatures are really nicely done because they are like uh, stretched they are elongated i don't know how to do correctly pronounce it but overall you get these four miniatures and i think i should definitely paint this one because they are really nicely done they really deserve to be painted and each character will get one of these miniatures and i don't know where they are going it which one is this one's going here this one here and yeah that is basically that that's everything that comes in a game of who goes there okay so that was who goes there a game of growing paranoia or something like that was in a subtitle of this game once it's not anymore so yeah this is basically a semi-cooperative game because you are all starting as not infected and throughout the game there's like maybe 1% chance that someone is not going to get infected and then spread it to all the other players. So right off the bat, right when you start from, from the get-go, from the, from the moment you start the game, you are feeling the pressure of someone is infected, even though it's not. And, you, and I noticed that in players, everyone is acting like we are enemies right from the start, which I really like in this game because this game really grows that paranoia in you. You are really constantly asking yourself, oh my God, is he infected? Was, is he infected? Oh no, maybe it's him. And when, other, uh, when the night comes, it gets cold and you don't want to get caught outside because you can lose some life points, stuff like that. And on the inside, you have to bunk beds with another player so you all don't lose health. But if you, if you sleep uh, and get warm with another player who's infected, he might infect you. And then two of you are infected and you are trying to act like everything is normal. And when uh, at the end of the game, the chopper comes to pick you up and get you back uh, to the uh, regular city, uh, not on the North Pole freezing your ass off, 
you are trying to be infected but you are trying also to have some players that are not infected on board with you because you have to survive you have to eat them to survive until you get to a big city and infect everybody now that being said uh, this game is is like super paranoid all the players were like from the start they were like oh my god who is it who is it is it uh, um, the thing is you cannot infect everyone because if all the infected players are on the chopper and there's no regular players on a helicopter not the chopper the helicopter then you also lose because there's nobody to eat on and survive until and you will probably crash because you are a monster and you don't know how to drive a helicopter right uh, overall I like how the game plays. It is uh, one of those semi-cooperative, as I already told you. With not all, not all of these games work the way it should, but this one works for me at least. So I like it. The components, the miniatures, everything is super nicely made. The quality is awesome. The dice are looking really, really nice, and your custom dice that you have with you, and all these extra miniatures. Uh, I don't know. Everything looks so good. The artwork is super nice. Overall, I really like this game. I like how it works. If you are into this type of games, definitely check this one out. Uh, I would give it 8 out of 10 hot gluten-free coffee cups because you want to stay awake when you bunk beds with another person who might be infected so you don't get infected, right? So yeah, that is that. Until next time. Pozdrav. This video was brought to you by filibertnet.com, the game in all its states.